Hey, it's Curly, and today we're going to be opening what seems to be everyone's least favorite set for Overdress. This is Set 5, Triumphant Return of the Brave Heroes, Booster Pack 5. Before we actually do that, I do have some of the promo packs that I got. Um, these are the Six Nation PR packs, promo packs. Uh, they come with one card each, and they come with promos that are actually new. I thought it was going to be the same old six promos from before. Um, I think they redid some of the promos, but they also, I guess, included new ones. This is a lyrical promo. Let's get a closer look here. Uh, this is Sunset Glow Liana. When your other rear guard is returned to hand, if this unit is on rear guard circle, Candle Blast 1, choose one of your vanguards and that unit and this unit. <laughs> wow. Uh, get 5k until the end of the turn. So I was originally reading this, I was like, I don't know if I'll actually use this in Kyrie, but it basically gives you the card that is card that is after the card is returned to your hand and this unit and kairi get an extra 5k if you play this on turn you play kairi she becomes 20k uh, which is interesting but if she was a booster it would be a little bit better because then she can actually boost usually what you want to do is attack with your front row first and then bounce them to hand so interesting next up we got ourselves a dark state promo here snake charmer poisoner uh, when this unit attack hits a vanguard, if your soul has seven or more cards, choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire it. <sighs> I like a lot of these cards uh, for dark states because I like that they have interesting effects like this, but I hate that they're always retire focused because uh, with Barrel Magus, I don't really care about that because I'm just going to end up putting it in the soul anyways. Next up, we got ourselves Max Maxed Forced Redol. This unit attacks, if the number of cards in your damage zone is more than your opponent, this unit gets 5 cans at the end of that battle. Not bad, it's a great 2. Uh, I wish this was like an actual ride line or something like that, because I really like his design, but unfortunately he's just a little promo card. Last promo pack here is going to give us another new card. Um, yeah, I really thought that <laughs> these promo packs were just the same as before, but I'm kind of happy that they're actually all new. This is Glittling Knight Et Etgaia? Etgaia? Uh, when it's unit attacks, grade 3, and it hits, choose one of your other grade 3 or grade units and then they get 5k until the end of the turn. Art is nice, in fact, not so much. Anyways, onwards to the main event here. This is Triumphant Return of the Brave Heroes. Uh, as you can tell from the box, we're granting uh, the return of the end. Majesty Lord Blaster and Phantom Blaster Dragon into the D format, as well as five new ride lines in Tamayura, Chaos, Aurora, Eva, and Thegria, which is really cool. Uh, however, it wasn't exactly fully supported. A lot of these cards are a little dead in the water. Some of them are actually pretty solid. But in any case, let's just go ahead and dive right into this. This specific box came in the mail, so it got a little like warped and whatnot. So hopefully that just means we get um good pulls. Cause just the power of the pulls were just too much. And just, the box does not conform nicely. <laughs> there we go. Stick that in there. Uh, as usual, watch overdress anime. And as uh, you might have noticed, we have actually different um, different packs designs for this set. So we have Aurora, we have uh, Dragonic Overlord and Majesty Lord Blaster and Phantom Blaster Dragon, which is pretty cool. All right, let's just go ahead and jump into these. We've got Wingle Brave here, which is started for MLB. I mean, you don't have to use it for MLB, but it is most likely that you will be used it for that. Next up, we have an Afternoon nap, regardless of place ever. This is one of the decks that I've been planning on playing this uh, after this set. It's not the best, to be honest with you, but um, I'll see if I can make this work. Uh, when this is placed by writing over the one who craved knowledge ever, the grade zero, you can search your deck for up to one research card, reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle your deck. I actually did a video going over all of the new Cray Cross Epic ride lines. Uh, so basically, the ones that are not the end, uh, PBD, and MOB. Uh, if you want to check that out, that'll be in the iCard up here somewhere. Uh, we actually got a grade 1 of Thegra here. When this unit is placed upon 
uh, play a road upon by harsh training Thagor will reveal the top card of your deck and if it's a grade 2 or less unit you can call it to rearguard circle rested so that's when you play the grade 2 over her uh, this is beneath the brilliant light Thagor uh, next up we got ourselves rumbling sheer dragon this unit intercepts if your opponent's vanguard is grade 3 or greater this unit gets plus 10k shield until the end of that batter which is okay but it is a 9k which is really unnecessary <laughs> being honest with you uh, next up we have Heavy Armed Panzer. If your order zone has a set order, this unit gets boost. They have a lot of grade 2s in Brand Gate that get boost, uh, but I don't think any of them actually see play. We got Wingo Brave. Next up we got Little Sage Marin Cure. When this unit is rolled upon by a grade 2 blaster, so it could be Blaster Dark, and its card name, look at the top 7 cards of your deck, choose up to 1 grade 2 with blaster in its name from among them, reveal it and put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. If you did not reveal a card, choose a Wingle Brave from your soul and you may call it to Rigor Circle. So you actually get Forerunner. Which is why you want to probably play Wingle Brave unless you want the soul. Um, but I think you don't have to call it. So, And then during a turn, if you have three or more units, this gets 2k power. And we actually got an SP, which makes me dramatically sad. <laughs> Um, so this is Invigorate Sage. This is a heal trigger, one of the new heal triggers, uh, double rare heal trigger for Keter Sanctuary. And what this does is if it's placed on Guardian Circle, its starting shield is actually 10k instead of the usual 15k. But if your opponent's attacking unit has attacked two or more times this turn, this unit gets 15k plus shield. So it becomes actually a 25k shield um, to the end of that battle. The reason why I'm sad about getting this is the way that these boxes work, you actually only get uh, one tenth triple rare, we'll show you that once it comes up, and one SP, or you get two of the tenth triple rare, and no SP. Um, and I've been really trying to get a lot of SPs of stuff, such as Thegra and Eva, and that just means I'm not going to be getting it <laughs> in this set, because this was my SP. But nonetheless, cool I guess. There is still some hope that we might get something else that's cool and unique to this set. There is like a, I guess what everyone's just been calling the God Pack, which is just a super rare pack that when you open it, it's actually face down and it has like a bunch of uh, super rare cards in it. But we'll see if we can actually pull that. Uh, up here we've got Divine Sister Saint Honore. Uh, when it's unit attack, so blast one, revealing normal unit from your hand and put it on the bottom of your deck to draw a card. Not necessarily Hex Orb support, but I guess you can use it in Hex Orb. Um, then we've got Aid 9V. Uh, might be 9 Volt. Uh, when this unit boosts, if your order zone has two or more cards, count them as one, and this unit gets 10k attack until the end of that battle. And it also includes your opponent's cards. So if they have a prison or something face up, this guy can get power. Uh, Knight of Old Amnesty Camel Loss. When this unit attacks, if your rear guard was retired by your Vanguard's ability this turn, so something like PBD. You can Soul Blast 1, and this unit gets 10 cans at the end of the battle. It's grade 2, so that's okay. We actually got one of the Momoke tokens here. This is actually really cool. Um, we'll show you why it's really cool in a second. So this represents a Momoke token. doesn't go in your deck. On Rear Circle, act once per turn, retire one or more of the Rear Guards, and this unit gets 5k attack uh, until the end of that turn for each of the units you retired. Then it has Glitter, which basically just means if your Vanguard is Rewara, um, if you have a unit with Raylina in its card name in the same column as this unit, you can attack from the back row, which is really cool. The reason that this is really cool is because if you flip around, unfortunately I did get <laughs> the Raylina, which is, I guess, okay, because if you don't know what Raylina is, but I already, <laughs> I've already, this is my first duplicate of the tokens, I was hoping to get a different one, but in any case, it shows you some lore for the Kray Cross Epic stuff, which is really cool. This is Raylina, a young girl who aims to be the strongest drag ridder, accompanied by a young dragon, Momoke. She has a personality where once she decides upon something, she'll move straight towards her goal and does not shy away from strict training. Her best tactic involves charging straight ahead while receiving support from her partner, Momoke. Which kind of fits, given her ability, but we'll see if we can pull her in a bit. Then we've got the Flaming Pony. Uh, in your soul, you can bind this and Soul Charge too. I feel like that's possibly useful in Barrel, but we'll see. Next up, we've got the Knight of Spring. Sprid? I'm just gonna call it Knight of Spring. Uh, Frida. I, I really like this card. I was hoping her effect was a little bit more generic and better, but 
When his unit is placed on Ringer Circle during the main phase, if you have a Vanguard with Blaster in its card name, so Blast 1, like the top 5 cards of your deck, choose up to 1 grade 2 or less unit with Blaster in its card name from among them, call it to Ringer Circle and shuffle your deck. If you called, choose a card from your hand and discard it. So I was kind of hoping to use this Integra uh, to maybe get out blasters, but one, you need a blaster um, vanguard and you can only call out blasters. So it's not too great. Ooh, we actually got a experiment successful. This is a research card here. Um, so after this is played, you put it in your order zone and when this card is put into your order zone, draw a card, choose a card um, from your hand and discard it. If your order zone has three more research cards, then you can so blast one, choose one of your opponent's units and bind it, or rear guards, I should say, and bind it, which is crazy uh, if you ever get this off because there's no way really to get stuff back from being bound. So you just make a unit disappear for the rest of the game. But it is a little difficult to actually get this to come off. Got another card here. That is a grade 2 from Dragon Empire that is actually pretty disappointing that they decided to make it 9k. But this is Self Dragon Hada Red Soul. Hada Red Soul? Uh, when this unit is placed on Ringo Circle by Vanguard to Blink, this unit gets 10k into the end of the turn. If this was just a 10k attacker, it would actually be kind of playable. Because uh, you can use that with Tamayura's skill. Uh, this is Amazement Magician. When this unit attacks, you may Soul Charge 1. So she's a somewhat slightly better version of. Um, Crimson Mix Beller, but uh, then we got the Nine Tailed Fox Spirit Tamayura. This is the starter here. We got the Gigantic Beater. Uh, when this unit attacks, we have a Vanguard with Blaster in its card name. This unit gets 5k attack until the end of that battle. Not bad. We uh, got ourselves another Steam card, which is kind of cool. I love these Steam cards in um, Dark States. We got ourselves Steam Ripper Nania. When this unit intercepts, if your soul has five or more cards, this gets this unit gets 10k shield until the end of that battle. Another 9k. Very disappointing. Uh, we're actually going to get ourselves the Grey Tooth Thegra, which is really cool. And this is Harsh Training Thegra. When this unit is rolled upon by the by a Grade Three with Thegra in its card name, could be either the Dark or the Light one. Look at the top five cards of your deck. Choose up to one card with Thegra or Maple in its card name from among them. Reveal it. Add it to your hand and shuffle your deck. Maple being the card that um, the like dual nation support for Thegra, and then we're actually going to get Fountain of Knowledge Eva here. Amazing! I needed exactly one more copy of this, and we managed to pull it. Uh, so Eva does quite a lot on Vanguard Circle at once per turn. Act you can count a boss one. Look at the top cards from your deck equal to the number of research cards in your order zone. From the Ride Light alone, you automatically have two. And then you can choose one card from among them, put it into your hand, and put the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. And this unit gets 5k into the end of that turn. Then on Vanguard Circle, when this unit attacks, you can counter blast Soul Blast 1. Search your deck or hand for up to one card with Obscured in its card name and call it to Rearguard Circle. If you search your deck, you can shuffle your deck. So it gives you a fourth attack. Very, very cool. I love the art in this card. Uh, I was originally really disappointed in Eva because I was hoping the next Branke card or Ride Line would be some sort of like robot or something that I'd be interested in. Um, and it just ended up being like this like lolly girl, but uh, she actually ended up being really cool. I don't know what it is about this set and 9k grade 2s, but next up we've got Ample Scatterer Angel. When this unit intercepts, if your damage on has 3 more cards, this gets 10k shield until the end of the turn. Uh, we got ourselves Tier Knight Fletcher. When this unit attacks a Grade 3 or Greater Vanguard, this unit gets 5k until the end of the battle for each of your token units. If it wasn't for the tokens, <laughs> might have actually saw some pay. Here's another Grade 2 with um, 9k attack for some reason. This is Suppression Robo Sir Repel. Uh, when this unit intercepts, if your order zone has two or more cards, this unit gets 10k until the end of the battle. It seems like they just printed one of those when it intercepts <clears throat> for each nation. Uh, next, we've got Indicate Arrow Dragon. When this unit is placed on River Circle, reveal the top card of your deck. If there are no cards in your soul with the same name as the revealed card, you can soul charge one. So it's the same as, or 
Sorry, not the same. This is support. I don't know why I said the same. This is support for chaos. Which is... It's okay, support. A Knight of Fearlessness, Redicus. Redicus. Uh, if you wrote a great three or greater unit this turn, this guy gets 5k. This is a great tomb. Not really used to an ambassador or anything like that. And here's Chaos. Uh, Quagmire Solace Chaos. The grade two of the right line here. When wrote upon by approaching Fang's Chaos, Soul Charge 1. If the Soul Charge card was a trigger, draw a card. If it was a normal unit, choose one card from your soul and call it to Rearguard Circle. Which is really good. Uh, even though you want to Soul Charge in this deck, it actually lets you pull out extra copies of cards. Uh, the next up, our triple rare here is actually going to be Twin Direful Dolls Ramari, which is very good. This is for Tamayura. When this is placed on Rearguard Circle, if you have a Rearguard with Rimari in his card name, you can Soul Blast and draw a card. Then, if you have Tamayura as your Vanguard, when this is retired from Guardian Circle, you may put this into your soul. This effect annoys the hell out of me, because this would have been really cool to play in uh, Barrel Magus. But, alas, that will not be the case. And we got here Awakening from Slumber Aurora. When this unit is placed by writing Byroad U Furora, the grid zero, um, call up to one plant token to your back row center. To get some of the plant token on ride. Then we have Kind Light Dragon. When this unit is stand by a card's ability, this unit gets 5k to the end of the battle. So this is uh, presumably Tegra support, but you could also technically use this in Bastion and Bastion Prime. Here is Byroid Youth uh, Aurora, the grade zero of that ride line. And then we got ourselves Ranker Storm Trooper. During your turn, um, this guy gets 5k for each order in your bind zone. So you can use that in Zorgo. Next up, we've got Battle, Battle Siren uh, Shuzet. When his unit attacks a Vanguard, Soul Blast 1 and his unit gets 2k into the end of battle for each of your rested units. So that's interesting. Uh, you can definitely get this up to like um, 16, no, not 16, but 20, which is not really a lot. <laughs> you don't have to be the last card that attacks. And we're actually going to get our 10th triple rare here, which is the Majesty Lord Blaster. So this is the 10th triple rare that I was talking about. It basically just has its 10th in the corner and it has... Um, it's rarity is 10th strip order. So, Majesty Lord Blaster here. Uh, if your soul has a Blaster Blade and Blaster Dark, this card gets 2k attack and a critical, even on your opponent's turn. Then, when this unit attacks a Vanguard, perform all of the following. You can only, you want to, you can choose to only do one. You can put a Blaster Blade from your rearguard into your soul, choose one of your opponent's rearguards and retire it. Or, um, you can put a Blaster Dark from your Rearguard to your soul, and his unit gets plus one drive to the end of the turn. Which is alright. Knight of Clear Sightness Argervis. Uh, on Rearguard Circle, act counter blast once per turn. Clone blast two. Look at the top two cards of your deck, choose one unit card from among them and call it. Put the rest on the top of your deck in any order. So this is technically um, support for Hex Orb, but I think it's supposed to be actually for Thegra, so you know what to call from her skill. Um, this is successor of the Variable Star. During your turn, when this unit, or uh, th sorry, this unit gets 2k for each of your set orders in your order zone. But it's a 7k, so. Uh, excavation Dragon Burial Dignio. At the end of the battle, this unit attacked, put this into the soul, choose one of your rear guards, and it gets 5k into the end of the turn. This is pretty good for Tamayura because uh, you can clear up a rearguard space, get an additional attack. Uh, this is Argolus Lion. Uh, it's grade one. When his unit is placed on rearguard circle, other than by the effect of itself, if you persona wrote this turn, count blast one. Choose or search your deck for up to one card with the same card name as this card. Call it to rearguard circle as rest and shuffle your deck. Not entirely sure what's the point of this card. Um, you can technically, I guess, use it for retire fodder, but it also is technically Thegra support, which is silly. Uh, then we've got Aiding Monster Tectian. When this card is discarded from your hand during your turn, look at the top five cards of your deck. Choose up to one set order from among them, reveal it, put it into your hand, and then shuffle your deck. It's probably one of the best rares in this whole entire set. And then our triple rare here is going to be Twin Direful Dolls Rimmery. I actually have, I think, a playset <laughs> of each of the dolls. I might be missing one of them, 
but I'll have to see, but this is great. Um, so this matches with the other doll that we saw. This is both for Samira here. Uh, what this does is when it's placed on Rearguard Circle, if you have a Rearguard or a Primary in its card name, Soul Blast 2, choose one of your opponent's Rearguards, and your opponent puts that into their soul. And then if you have Samayura as your Vanguard when this unit retired from Guardian Circle, you can just put it into your soul. Very sick. Ignite Blow Dragon. If your soul has a grade 3, this unit gets plus 2k attack and plus 5k shield. So. Decent little card, we've already seen this guy. They've actually went ahead and reprinted, reprinted Blaster Dark here, which not sure how I feel about that. Um, then next up, we've got a double rare here and a Steam Maiden Barney. Uh, when his unit is placed on Rear Guard Circle from your hand, if your soul has eight or more cards with different card names, count them as one. To choose, it's got a fucking typo, uh, <laughs> choose a card, grade one or less card from your soul and call it to Rear Guard Circle. If your soul has 10 or more cards with different card names, to choose a grade 4 or less card with a uh, instead of a grade 1 or less card. So, uh, I want to kind of mess around with this in Barrel, but it it's from place from a hand, so it's not as useful. The world! 3,000 years later, Roar here. This is the grade two. When this is placed on Vanguard Circle, retire one of your rear guards, and then you can just call up two tokens. So the grade one gives you a token, you retire it, and then you get two tokens. Very odd effect, but hey, it's better than nothing. And then we've got a triple wear here in Perforate Burner Dragon. When this card is discarded from your hand during your battle phase, put this card into your soul, choose one of your units, and it gets five cans at the end of the turn. So you can theoretically use this with the end, uh, since you have to discard for his ability, I believe, and then you can just power him up a little bit and put it into your soul. Got ourselves Wildfire Brave Shooter. This unit attacks a grade 3 or greater unit. If this is the fourth battle or more of that turn, this unit gets 10 can to the end of the battle. I was sort of theorizing with my fiance whether or not this was useful in Magnolia, but it only really gets two more attack then like something like Empix, uh, and I don't really know if that really is enough to make a difference. Got another Eva, another Chaos, uh, and then we're gonna get ourselves the Grade 2 Tamayura here. Festival of Burning Tamayura. When his unit is placed by writing from in Calm Sunlight Tamayura, choose one card with Ramari or Rumori and it's card name from your drop and put it into your hand. So I think the Grade 2 unless you search uh, a lot of different cards actually, so you can add, uh, I think like, any of these, uh, the Blitz Order, I think, and also Ramari Murmuri, add it to your hand when you ride, and then you can just discard it and then add it back to your hand, which is cool. And we're actually going to get the Maple. It almost looks like a, a misprint, because I feel like that wasn't always so clear, but... Uh, we've got Atrocious, Maple Girl, or Moth Girl Maple. So, in your drop zone, when your Grade 3 or Greater Vanguard is placed during your ride phase, if you do not have a Maple... A uh, unit with Maple in its card name, you can call this two Vanguard Circle. If you have two, you can only call one. Then if your Vanguard is Thegra, at the end of the battle of this unit attack, you can Soul Blast one or more cards. Choose a card from your soul with the same grade as the sum of the guard, or grades of the cards you Soul Blasted for this cost. Put this into your soul, Maple, and then put that unit into your hand. So essentially what this lets you do is Soul Blast from your, you know, your soul, and then attempt to add a Thegra Grade 3 back to your hand so that next turn you can then Persona Ride with it again. So, uh, it's a little convoluted, <laughs> but uh, it is presumably really useful in Thegra. I was a little bit against this card because I, I, I felt like the Soul Blast requirement seems a little weird, but apparently this is really good. So we'll see. Got the only card from this pack that wasn't a reap. Here we've got Prohibited Sight Witch Erroneous. Uh, when this unit is retired from your rearguard circle by the effect of a Vanguard with Blaster in its card name, during your turn, Soul Blast 2, choose one of your opponent's rearguards and retire it. I'm not sure how great that is, but okay. It's a much smaller set, so they are a couple of repeats in this box. Uh, this is Stepping Calyx Saliva. <laughs> Uh, when this unit is placed on Rearguard Circle, if your Vanguard is a grade 3 or greater, you may call a plant token to your Rearguard Circle. Which is kind of interesting. You don't need Rora, technically. Um, but... 
Uh, I don't know what other use that would have in any of the other deck. And then you got Byros, uh, a Bahalo of the Battle Siren here. Got ourselves the first actual good Blitz Quarter in Overdress, I think. There are, there are a couple, but this one's actually pretty solid. This is Fleeting Shine that Lights Life. Play this with Soul Blast 2. If you're Vanguard, uh, if you have a Vanguard with Thumb and you're in its card name. So a Blitz Order, use it on your opponent's turn when they declare an attack. Choose one of your Vanguards and it gets the ability continuous. All of your opponent's front row units get minus 10k until the end of that turn. So uh, pretty strong. That includes your opponent's Vanguard as well. So very, very strong order. And then we're going to get ourselves a um, heal trigger, one of the new heal triggers for Dragon Empire. I realize this has stealth in the name, and there's a grade one that can search out cards with stealth. So I wonder if you can actually search this out. But this is Stealth Fiend Amaria. Um, same as the other one, if the attacking unit has attacked two more times, this gets plus 15k shields for a total of 25. Then we got a somewhat mediocre order for uh, MLB here. Bravery to stand against, will to pierce through. You can play this with Counterblast 1 if you have a Vanguard with Blaster in its card name. You can search up your deck for up to one grade 2 unit with Blaster in its card name, or reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle your deck. This let you search out grade 3, probably has you some use, maybe, probably not, in like premium or something like that, but oh well. Then finally, we've got a Triple Warrior here in Life Saving Angel, uh, Digriel, or Digirel. Uh, when your other unit in the same column as this unit stands from a card effect, you may return this unit to your hand. Not really sure what's the point of this, to be honest. Because um, <laughs> Thegra's effect, she lets you discard to stand a unit, the Light Thegra, but. Uh, I already paid the discard cost, so I guess this refills your hand, but I don't really want you in my hand. <laughs> I would rather use you as a booster <laughs> for that unit that stood, but whatever. Clumsy Assistance. When this unit boosts, if your soul has 5 or more cards, Candle Blast 1, this unit gets 10k into the end of that battle. Not great, not gonna lie. Uh, then we've got the Obling Monster Second or Sekron Sek. Secondal. When this unit is placed on rear circle, choose up to one non trigger unit from your drop. Put it on the bottom of your deck. And if you put a grade through a greater, show blast three. You can draw a card. So this is used in Eva to recycle things. And also, since you draw a lot in Eva, it's also used to make sure you don't deck out. But more importantly, you can recycle your pieces and then we get a hollow of this guy or girl. <laughs> Got the last pack here. Unfortunately, I think I got all of the doubles and triples already, but there's a small chance that, nope, it is not. <laughs> that this could have been the God pack, but it is not. Instead, it's just gonna be a relatively normal pack here uh, with stuff that I believe we've all already seen. And we've got ourselves this triple wear, which I think is new. Uh, this is an adhesive thread monster, act the sticky. <laughs> Uh, this is a grade one, act on bang or rear guard circle. Once per turn, count blast one, retire two of your other rear guards to draw a card and get 5k to the end of the turn. Yeah, I don't know about that, Chief. You're kinda asking for a lot. Overall, pulls were pretty solid. Um triple rares were not the best, aside from this uh, research, which is great. SP, I'm still pretty bummed about because I could have been an SP ever or something like that. Other than that, you know, these are all pretty good. I don't really care about MLB, to be honest. <laughs> but I do like this. I want to build Tama Europe, and I have most of Eva built. So, overall, pretty good. Um, that'll do it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about this set in the comments down below. Um, I am going to try and see if we can get a deck profile on Eva and Tama Europe on the channel. Um, I also want to do Thegra, but we'll see if I actually get the pieces to actually play this. Tamayura might be a little bit difficult because I feel like everyone's going to be trying to play Tamayura as well since she's kind of the best out of all the Create Cross epics. Uh, whereas my Eva I think is going to be the easiest, but it's also not going to be very good. <laughs> but in any case, until next time.
take care of yourself.